you know, this uh, season you've had 15 different goal scorers. Um, you know, what do you think that says? And also, how much have you just enjoyed the quality of the goals? Because it's, it's <laughs> they've been some great goals. Mm -hmm. uh, so just as a, as a fan. Uh, it's it's great to have many different scorers. Uh, I mentioned in previous questions that I would love to have um, players with with six, seven, eight goals behind Ola. Uh, Ola is now the, the the top scorer, and then I think we have Jordi with four and a few with three. But we we don't really have uh, enough uh, impact uh, on 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 scorers, especially the offensive players. But basically, based on uh, the inconsistency that, that we had on, on playing, not playing, having to change, and an injury here, and then the international break. So uh, imagine, imagine if this team was able to uh, have uh, all the players uh, available for, for all games, uh, that we were playing most of our games um, with, the, with, the, with the same team or with a similar team. I think that the the productivity of of the goals could be even even better. I believe personally. I, I even believe that Ola could have more goals uh, if if he if he didn't miss the games he missed, and if, if he was able to be even more fit than what he is right now. So it's it's great to have uh, many scorers, knowing that the goals are can come from different players from from uh, different moments, uh, set pieces, transition, uh, open play, even uh, start of play with, with Bill or with uh, John Camping, we could score goals from, from there. So it gives us a lot of different opportunities to, to score. And you know by scoring you can win games. So it's, it's great. It's great and, and let's hope uh, the next nine games we can have like kind of more stability on our lineup, stability on our health, because that's going to be key to achieve uh, the goal that we had um, at the start of the season. Uh, but at the same time, the unrealistic goal for you guys, and that was uh, playing the playoff. We'll go back to Dave. You, you mentioned that. Is that, is that the, the key, the stability of the lineup uh, going forward, because regardless, you play the same way and, and you still have a chance to win every game. Yeah, that's something that is non-negotiable. And I spoke with the players uh, this this week uh, to mention that, how happy I am that from day one, we didn't change uh, our mindset, we didn't change our style of play, we didn't change our formation that uh, we keep on repeating the same things um, and that makes it very clear for the players and I think that's the reason why whoever is playing they know exactly what to do because our our speech was very clear from the start and we didn't change it uh, even though we had difficult moments and we lost a few games in a row and that maybe makes you doubt for us it was no doubt uh, the players know what to do the players like it and uh, and that makes my job easier. Um, so we play the same way uh, the whole season. We're going to keep that no matter who's on the field, no matter who's fit or unfit. Uh, and that creates um, an identity. And I think that was the main reason why this United uh, hired me uh, to, to build up an identity. And whoever is on the on the stadium as a neutral fan, uh, the, the, the a journalist or whoever that when you see this United, you know how we play, and that's not going to change. We'll go to Steve Goff. Hernan, uh, six of your last nine matches are at home. Um, obviously, very important to get points at home. Hmm. Um, what uh, What have you seen in your team in its level of uh, confidence and um, aggression and um, adapting to the way you want to play at home? As maybe as opposed to um, away. So the difference between home and away, Steve, is um, when I see the record of all the MLS teams uh, on the road, is is kind of tough to to, to take points. Um, so that's something like it's a little bit installed in in MLS how hard it is to 
to take points on the road. Maybe now this season, based on the charters and and not having the, the regular flights, uh, it helps a lot more, not maybe, 100% sure that that helps a lot and that makes the league a lot more professional. And I believe that in a short term, uh, results on the road are going to start to improve, not only for DC, for the, the whole league, because the preparation and the way you start that game on the road, it will be completely different than having to take a regular flight. Uh, and I hope that stays like forever. That will be like like a huge step forwards in, in, in MLS uh, for the future. But I have to be honest with you, Steve, I, I, don't told, I don't tell to my players to play in a different way when we play on the road. Uh, is that smart? <laughs> Maybe sometimes not. Maybe you should be a little bit more precautious, a little bit more uh, defensive minded. Sometimes also it's it's about the players I have available. Uh, it's, it's about the, the changes I, I have to make. I, I think 80% of the changes I did until now, Steve, were based on things that happen and I can control and not changes that I plan. Uh, so that, that changes a lot. But we try to play the same way. And of course, playing at Audi, you have your fans, you feel at home, uh, it gives you a boost. And we try to build and create that home reputation we won eight games out of ten that's 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 a lot uh, out of the ten victories we have eight are at home and now you have six home games still we don't need to relax still we don't need to to think it's gonna happen and it's gonna be easy because every every game is is tough and you need to be at 200 percent to win it but we know it's an advantage for us and we create that mindset of uh, we are at home everything is possible and on the road is kind of more difficult and we need to make a switch in our head and believe because everything starts with belief believe that we can do the exact same thing we're doing at home that we can also do it uh, on the road we'll go to Moises Linares Profesor, un gusto saludarlo ¿Cómo está? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Te quería preguntar sobre ya estamos cerca del final de la temporada, este equipo viene carburando a todo motor, obvio que el resultado de la semana pasada no se dio, pero se compitió durante 90 minutos, como lo, lo mencionaste al final y como lo has dicho durante todo el año. Están ahí, están acariciando los playoffs de la MLS. ¿Qué le decís a los jugadores para darles esa extra motivación? Ya que están al borde de, de hacer algo que no se ha hecho en varios años y compitiendo a un nivel que no hemos visto en muchos años aquí. Que lo disfruten, que lo disfruten mucho, lo más que puedan. Se trabajó muy, muy duro para este momento y sería una pena que no lo disfrutemos, que no seamos felices. Eh, nosotros mismos nos hemos puesto en esta posición de estar compitiendo. Creo fuertemente en que vamos a competir hasta el último partido de esta temporada para, para luchar por esa posición en playoff. Eh, siento también muy dentro mío que nos merecemos ese puesto en playoff, que los chicos han hecho un trabajo increíble, eh, se han esforzado muchísimo y los nueve partidos que quedan hay que disfrutarlo, disfrutarlo cada partido como si fuera el último, como si fuera una final, eh, con mucha felicidad, eh, divirtiéndonos como cuando nos divertíamos y éramos pequeños y jugábamos en el parque con nuestros amigos y jugábamos para ganar, para hacer goles, para, para sonreír, para disfrutar, porque amamos lo que hacemos y amamos este deporte. Eh, así que eh, todo el esfuerzo que hicimos, eh, ahora llega el momento de disfrutarlo. No hay presión en lo absoluto, tenemos todo para ganar y nada para perder. Y una vez más, esto lo repito, nadie creía que el equipo podía estar en esta posición en este momento. Eh, nos lo hemos ganado solitos, con mucho esfuerzo y sacrificio y vamos a disfrutarlo un montón. Yo en primer lugar, eh, te digo, con Atlanta perdimos, eh, obviamente no me gusta perder, eh, soy un mal perdedor, pero puede que haya sido la primera vez eh, desde que soy entrenador en mi corta carrera que terminó el partido y tenía la sensación dentro mío, este equipo lo dio todo. Me voy con felicidad, me subo al avión, regreso a, a Washington con la sensación de lo dimos todo. ¿Hemos cometido errores? Sí. Eh, po ¿Podemos mejorar? Sí, podemos mejorar. Pero lo dimos todo y con esa sensación quiero terminar los nueve partidos que quedan. 
Y te pregunto, antes de terminar, mañana en el Auricio también hay un partido interesante, no sé si está al tanto de, de ese duelo entre El Salvador y, y Guatemala. Uh, ¿Existe la posibilidad que veamos al profesor? Porque yo sé que te encanta el fútbol y te encanta estudiar. ¿Existe la posibilidad que, que la afición te vea ahí en el estadio? Sí, existe. Existe la posibilidad. Si, si no tengo planes y, y he, he observado suficiente a Cincinnati, a Minnesota y a Orlando... <risa> Y tengo todo en mi cabeza planeado y encuentro un momento de libertad para relajarme. ¿Cómo me voy a relajar? Viendo Guatemala y El Salvador. Y esperando que los muchachos no me hagan ningún tackle, no me, no me hagan ningún eh, sliding tackle o que, que jueguen con, con, con pequeños tops, con, con tenis si es necesario, para cuidarme el campo. Cuídenme el campo, muchachos del Salvador y de Guatemala, por favor. Lo necesitamos para los próximos seis partidos en casa. Así que les deseo un muy buen partido. Cuídenme el campo, la entrada en calor a un costado. Que lo necesitamos para tener buenos partidos en casa en esta recta final. Last question, coach. Back to Dave Johnson. Um, Moises, this first question. I'd love to hear, you don't have to repeat the whole thing, but what were, I heard a lot of Felicidad. So what were, you, what were you talking about? That sounded like a lot of fun. <laughs> no, I was basically telling that the, we need to enjoy the, the last nine games, that hopefully, hopefully not, they, they don't, ha they don't want to be the last nine. Uh, that, that's the feeling I have, the feeling the whole team has, that they're going to be more than nine games, but we need to enjoy it. We, we, we put ourselves in this spot, in this position, by working very hard, by doing a lot of sacrifice, um, and, and now it's, it would be a pity if Now we feel like under pressure and, and we, are, uh, we have fear and, and we are scared. Scared of what? No, nobody believed before that we could be in this spot nine games to go, having six home games of, of the nine. So it's in our hands. If it doesn't happen, so what? No problem. Uh, just go for it, enjoy it, uh, be happy on the field and, and, and embrace um, all the energy and effort you Put and we all put to be in, in, in this spot right now. So uh, nothing to lose, everything to win, and, and we need to be fearless against any opponent the next nine games. And that's the way I want to see my team playing.